Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Lieutenant Virab Manukyan was awarded the sword of Western Armenia. Provinces of Western Armenia as Navadzor, the citizens of Artsakh have lost their tomorrow. It is no longer planned as it is uncertain. 145 prohibited places for civilians in Dersim. Who is indigenous, who is not? Ibrahim Karaja. The sphere of folk music and dance is in the area of strategic importance. Let's support the state television company. Western Armenia. President Armena Kabraman was awarded the sword of Western Armenia Combat Medal by citizens of Western Armenia, Lieutenant Virab Manukyan, especially for his service to the motherland during the First Artsakh War. There are many volunteers, children of Western Armenia, who were called upon to defend their homeland and protect the Armenian population during the First War in Artsakh. Among them, Lieutenant Virab Manukyan. The sword of Western Armenia Medal is today the highest military award of Western Armenia, which originates from 1916 to the present day from the commitment of volunteers to to the Great Cilicia and all Western Armenia, as well as from the core of the future Army of Western Armenia. This order has already been awarded to dozens of volunteers. This is the pride of Western Armenia. Aznavadzor province is located in the Altanik province of Greater Armenia. In the 9th century, the king of Asprakan Gagi Gartsroni liberated Aznavadzor from Arab conquerors. Ottoman Turkey captured the province in the first half of 14th century until the first half of 19th century. It was part of Bagaj. From 1878, it became a village group in the Karchan province of Bitlis and then became an independent province. In 1895, there were about 3,000 Armenians. The inhabitants were engaged in agriculture, cattle breeding, and fishing. As a result, of the Hamidian massacre in 1895-1896, Aznavadzor was partially depopulated and during the 1915 genocide of Armenia, it was completely depopulated. The survivors found refuge in eastern Armenia. Member of the Foreign Relations Commission of National Assembly Republic of Artsakh, Aram Aysagabekian wrote on his Facebook page, the visit of Russian ambassador to Azerbaijan, Mikhail Bokcharinov in Shushi, is at least incomprehensible and puzzling. It does not proceed to the interest of settlement of Artsakh conflict and cannot lead to the establishment of long-term peace in South Caucasus. The Russian Federation is one of the parties to 2020 trilateral declaration and the guarantee of the implementation of the points of the same statement. The visit of Russian ambassador to Shushi does not fit into the trilateral statement of November 9th, nor into the logic of the agreements reached after that. Political decision makers in Russia should understand that the Armenians living in Artsakh, they are also red lines and acceptable decisions, no matter which your political centers offers it and in what package it is going to be served. There are officially 145 prohibited territories for civilians in the provinces of Khoznat and Tovajik in Western Armenia. The entry of civilians into pastures, plateaus and forest territories belonging to the provinces of Nazime, Ovajik, Pulumur and Khoznat declared temporary security zones was the de facto prohibited due to the so-called life-threatening mine territory. Last year, 29 districts of Dersim were declared temporary special security zones for a year and banned the entry of prisoners, beekeepers and civilians because of which they had no opportunity to graze the herbs of cattle and develop beekeeping. The modern writer Ibrahim Karaja is the author of numerous works, essays, articles, both in academic and literary categories. Below we present you an expert from Karaja's article, who is indigenous and who is not, which raises the question of the Pontic Greeks and Armenians of the same region, as well as Western Armenians and indigenous people in Ottoman period and after that. If you look at the Ottoman sources of 16th century, then according to the information from the chronicle Trapezon Salmane, Hamshen was one of the provinces of Trapezon. It was divided into three sub-regions. Karamakhshen and Exanos. According to the Ottoman archives, in 1681 the Armenian population of Hamshen was 80%. The author writes, Western Armenia welcomes such a statement and in some cases there is no need to state that the indigenous inhabitants of Western Armenia and Armenians, next to whom other peoples lived over time, Greeks, Yazidis, Kurds, etc. Read Ibrahim Karaja's article in full on our official website. The Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of Republic of Armenia has submitted for public discussion a draft resolution on the Government of Republic of Armenia on the organization of the National Center for Folk Music and Dance. As the Deputy Minister Ara Khazmalian noted, the changes are not aimed at weakening, but on the contrary on strengthening system. We want folk art to be in demand among other people, to restore its public rating to be heard everywhere, said Ara Khazmalian, then informed that in two months the Yerhushta festival will be held, the purpose of which, among other 
programs is to bring strategic importance to the field of folk music and dance. Western Armenia welcomes this initiative because we consider this as a step to preserve the art of Western Armenia because what is presented come to Eastern Armenia during the genocide years and a local culture was formed. The state television company of Western Armenia remaining true to its principle and the viewers continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television broadcast mainly political and under news concerning the history, present and future of Western Armenia as well as news raising various issues. We also present the events of President, the Government, the National Assembly and other structures of Western Armenia in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support the possibilities of our television will expand and strengthen even more. We are stronger together. Now musical part Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.